So we have the finally stable version of Android 14's QPR1. QPR1 beta updates were there, beta 1, beta 2. I made a video already which are the changes were introduced. But now it's Android 14's QPR quarterly perform release stable version with the December feature drop is here. The changes and everything I will let you know in this video. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. We are talking about this version which is Android 14 based and it's available on my Pixel device. It's available for most of the Pixel devices already. So if you did not check it out yet, you can go and install this thing. But first, let me tell you the changes and the features which are available here. First change I found here is available as a diagnosis available everywhere, which is basically like this one. So if you are having any kind of issues, I'm in troubleshooting issues, you can find them moving into network and internet. You have this troubleshoot mobile connection option. You have some tips available to improve connectivity and uh, you have some useful things available actually. This is about this network and internet which is available here. Same thing is even available in the battery section. Battery diagnostics. You can simply run tests to check your battery. For example, if battery is training too quickly, click this. Then you will see some suggestions that settings that impact battery life. And uh, this could be helpful in certain cases. If you are already a pro, then of course you don't need this. But this could be useful in some cases. And sometimes we don't have some things in our mind lines and uh, then this could be a useful thing so this is available in network and internet and battery section but none other things i guess these two uh, options where i found this option and uh, this is kind of useful which is available here this was the first one and the second thing which i found here is repair mode and this is certainly something really interesting this is the repair mode and if you are a samsung user of course you are aware of this one it's same like maintenance mode but if you move on here this is a secure environment used while your device is being repaired. For example, your device is broken, you have some battery issues, you have anything, I mean motherboard issues, etc. You're going to repair center, you want to repair your device. You can simply click on enter repair mode, enter your device pin and then your device will be rebooted. For example, like this one, your device will be rebooted to repair mode state. So in that case, for example, this is the repair mode which I am using, which is my device is booted right on repair mode. So until my device is repaired perfectly fine, if I'm satisfied, then I can exit from here. And to exit this, you need to you need to enter your pin, password, whatever you've chosen. You have to set it again. You have to fill that and then you'll be able to exit the repair mode. This could be a very, very useful thing and it's finally available with this latest update Android 14 QPR. So after exiting, as you can see, no data is wiped, nothing. We are just back to stock. It's like our using our device as a daily user and that could be helpful in certain cases too. Another thing is the lock screen clock. This was available and uh, this was actually not available in the stable version, but it's what was available in the beta version. So if you were using beta version, you already know other things, other clocks are kind of same. Only this, this is the clock, which is newly added with this Android 14's QPR stable. And uh, this is a clock which, in my personal opinion, I'm not a fan of it, but it sometimes looks good, sometimes doesn't. But it's available, so I just wanted to let you know if you want to check it out, you can. One more thing is, if you move on to the About Phone section, you will find the battery cycles options, battery information. Actually, it was available in Android 14's QPR's beta update, beta 1, it was available there. In beta 2, as far as I know, it was not available. And in the normal stable version, which came out two months ago, it was not there. But with this update, with the December feature drop, it's available there. So this could also be a very useful thing. It's present for all the Pixel devices, as far as I know, I mean, which are com compatible with the latest Android 14. This could be available there. This is not related to this uh, latest update, but Gcam is also updated to Gcam 9.2. In case you don't know, you have the Palm timer option available here. And this is the feature which I noticed. One more thing is if I move on to the advanced options in my case, because Ultra HDR option was not present. And for example, I'm using Pixel 7a. It was not available. It's also there. Some new features are introduced if you're using Pixel 8 or Pixel 8 Pro, Pixel 8 series, of course. Then you have some new features available. But Gcam is updated to Gcam 9.2. So in case you did not update it yet, you can, as you can see. And if you're a Pixel device user, this could be a well good thing. I mean, you have to find out some great features especially if you are a latest pixel device user pixel 8 pixel 8 pro etc etc one more thing is the disappointing thing to be honest is at a glance widget is still there i mean you can't disable it 
I know in the previous update, the thing was there with the help of that command, which actually I was not able to run on my device, but some users were able to. The developer said this it's available. You had you have now ability to disable that, but unfortunately this option is missing from here, which means it's not coming as as soon as soon as possible. Of course, I'm I'm looking forward to it, but it's not there. So other than else, these were some noticeable changes which you will find with the latest Android 14 QPR stable update. If you find if I I find anything else I will let you know this is it thanks for watching if you like the content make sure to like this video we'll see you in the next one goodbye